Hello, thank you for watching Playing Fluto with Mommy and I am Mommy and today I will talk about one exercise pattern which is combination of heavy and light vibrato and reach okay so I will talk about vibrato first using D Without tanging and continuous hoo 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 will become vibrato. This is vibrato. And reaching. Using your air pressure from your stomach and then reach the higher note or lower note. Higher, uh, reaching higher note with stomach pressure may be harder than going down. So instead of uh, using the uh, air speed, speed of the, you know, your air, too much wind, you will use the pressure. Instead of, let's reach. Heavy and light. Heavy is heavier sound and light is lighter sound. And it uh, depends on the pattern or um, length of note or how the music is going at the, in, on that particular melody. You know, which note is heavier, which note is lighter. Usually ending note is lighter than one before. Anyway, so this is just exercise. So one is heavy and one is light. When you are playing the heavier note, you will play more this way, this way. And lighter note, your body will kind of move like this way. Heavy and light, this kind of movement, movement. So I will do that. D, from D to E. So D, you will have vibrato, heavy, and E, E, yeah, E is gonna be reaching and light and no tanging. It's, uh, it's connected with La, Re, D, <laughs> next one. Okay, D and E flat. This is combination of D, vibrato, heavy, and uh, E flat, lighter, reaching, vibrato and E flat, instead of play, lifting, lifting. And you will set, you will go to the next note, next note, and your bass is D. showing this more direct from heavy vibrato to reach but um, once you get used to you will find a way to move you know, pull to the next note maybe something like this
use the same movement. D is a heavier note, and then next note, even though it's lower than D, it's going to be lighter movement. exercise to create a nice D sound also not just a connection anything you want to deeper your D sound so D nice vibrato you can think about the, how many vibrato you will add how many waves do you add you can think about many things over this uh, exercise and um, you think about how to move this area slightly especially when you're going higher and I think I noticed too you must have noticed my eyes getting bigger or when I'm going up my maybe eyebrow is going up or eyes going up like this What's happening is when you're lifting your body, my case, I'm, my face is automatically moving to move something higher and here. So my eyes are moving like this way. So um, this is something you can pay attention to. So I often suggest to practice your foot in front of mirror so that you can see your posture, you can see how you are moving, and you can see uh, your face, you know, muscle movement too, because you're using a lot of muscle, not only here, you are using muscle in here when you're playing flute. So this is something you can think about. So this is one exercise you can add to your daily exercise. So I've been telling you many daily exercises, so you must need a lot of time. No. You don't need it. Um, you can just pick some exercise for day, or you can just do like a, this case D, and then maybe go up to only C, higher C, and go D from go go down to G, and you can do quickly, you know. Or of course, you don't have to start from D if you want to start from different note. Anyway, so you will arrange how to um, exercise the day, that moment. So this is one suggestion for the pattern practice. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and and please see the next uh, next um, video. Thank you. Bye.